Today, it was a day of memorials and ceremonies across the country, marking 22 years since the 9-11 attacks. Rahema Ellis reports tonight from Ground Zero. Once again, a solemn day of remembrance. Bells tolling at 846 and 903, the moment when terrorists attacked the World Trade Center 22 years ago. Alvin Peter Kappelman Jr. Then the emotional reading of nearly 3,000 names of those who died that day. And my poppy, Gerard Patrick Frank, firefighter from Rescue Company 3. I miss you and love you. I wish we, you got to take me fishing. We love you, poppy. In attendance, Vice President Kamala Harris, but President Biden under criticism from conservative outlets for being the first president not to be at the White House or a memorial site on the anniversary. Instead, he was visiting troops in Alaska. I join you on this solemn day to renew our sacred vow. Never forget. Never forget. And the tragedy is still present in so many families' lives to this day as they're struggling with lingering health effects from the attack. 341 members of the fire department have died from 9-11 related illnesses, almost as many as those who died 22 years ago. He was great. Jim Brosey's father, Joseph, was one of them. He died from lung cancer this year. Lieutenant Joseph Brosey, engine 88. And his name was added to a memorial wall at FDNY headquarters. I walked through those hallways looking at names of people I worked with, people I knew, and the one thing you never want to see is one of your own family. Pain for lost family members, both fresh and lingering. I just hope you're proud of who I've grown up to be. Thank you for loving us, Dad, and thank you for being my dad. Tonight, a nation honoring a promise to never forget. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.